Hey y'all, Jim Panky here with a, a bluegrass classic, rolling my sweet baby's arms. Why haven't we done this yet? I don't know, but we're gonna do it today. Uh, this song is made up of licks, and if you were paying attention, you may have heard some licks. Licks that you know. And then there's a couple of weird Jim Panky things that I do that I'll show you the way that I try to stick as close to the melody as possible. So we're, we're gonna, we're, we'll figure this one out today and it, it, it won't take a lot of your time, I promise. And you'll be playing this tune the next time it comes up in the jam. If you like this sort of thing, and this is the type of content that you're into, leave a like button and maybe leave a comment and if you really want to help the channel grow, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that. And if you want to get notifications when I post new videos, be sure to ring that bell. All right, well, let's look at this tune. So this tune starts with a just a simple walk up. And you could count that off if you wanted to and just go right into the tune. But I, you know, in a jam session, it's nice to, to do that walk up let folks know where you are. And then we're going to do a 302 lick. So we call it a 302 because that's kind of where our fingers are. And I think we can blame Tony Trishka for that one. If you're watching, Tony, I know where it came from. Uh, so you're going to slide from two to three on the third string. And then the index finger goes down. I have a video. I have a video on this. I'll post a link. And then one, two, three, once forward in reverse with a pull off. So. And then I do this lick five, three, four, pull off, and then a one, two, three with a pull off, and then a standard G tag we've done a ton of times in all of my tunes. So that sounds like walks up 302 Jim Lick. <laughs> three tag. One, two, three, one. Does that same walk up again? Same 302 lick. And this time I do something a little different because we're going to wind up in the in a D, in, in a D lick, but we're going to go five, three, five, one, and then a pull off, three, two, three, one. So. And that's a lick that I use just to fill space sometimes, and it also helps us stick to the melody on this team. So it sounds like... And now we need a D lick. Now we're not gonna hold a whole D chord. Nope, we're just gonna hold part of it. And it's just that partial D, that index, third string, second fret, ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. And I'm just gonna go three, four, those are quarter notes, and then one, three, four, one. So. forward in reverse we're going to start on five so five three one five one three four one still holding that partial d and then we got a g lick here so that's just that two to five lick we've done that before third string and then a two to five slide four three one five three one and then we're going to do a cripple creek lick That's just a slide, pull off, three, two, and then we're going to go to a C chord, and I kind of like to hold it, hit that second string, and then we're going to hammer to that second string, two, one, five, two, one, five, so, 
And now here's where I stray from my Earl Scruggs upbringing and I fall over into Uncle Ralph Stanley. <laughs> because when I was first learning, I had two players that I was listening to primarily, and that was Earl and Ralph Stanley. And so Earl's, you know, and then Ralph, kind of like uncle, but, you know, doctor, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to reach up with my index finger and do a hammer on with that C chord. We're going to hammer on that fourth string. And why my index finger? Because I just used my thumb. So I went. So I need another finger. And then five, two, one, three, four. Holding that C chord. So that lick, that whole C sequence sounds like. And now we're gonna do a four one one lick. You know this one. Four one one hammer. Leave that middle finger down. Index goes here. Five two one five. Pick it all up. One two. Pull off from three to two. And then a third string. And now we need a G lick. We're gonna go. So that's a slide three two. Now, let's go through it really slowly. I will post a tab, so you'll have that, but I, I think you can figure this out. And anywhere it gets a little weird or it feels strange with your fingers, that's okay. Find something that works for you, but be sure you leave enough space for all the words and the way the song works. All right, here we go, really slowly. gives you a very cool break or kickoff to roll in my sweet baby's arms. Practice that. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.